Okay, hello everyone. I picked another random game on Conger Game. Called Goblin Rocket Rider. Now... <laughs> I mean, that music is pretty cool. But I can't help but notice... That it's compressed really badly because there's like tweeting going on in the background like the sound of I don't know like the sound of someone with a bag of coins um, beating a microphone or something I, I, I'm not really sure and the the screen window is actually really small um, but let's read the description. A mix between a runner and an old school shoot 'em up. Really addictive and dynamic. Oh, thanks. I'm, I'm glad you think so. Play as a goblin in this 2D runner. Ride a missile with the gameplay of an old school shoot 'em up. Collect golds and complete quests to buy upgrades and level up. Exclamation point, exclamation point. Go as far as possible and get into the top scores online to become the best missile rider. Parentheses, in parentheses, it says the dream of everyone, because everyone wants to be the best missile rider. Um, a mix between runner and, and an old school shoot 'em up really. Hey, you said that before. Features: a dynamic and addictive gameplay, close as a old school shoot 'em up kind of runner. Great. A goblin. So this is under the features still. A goblin space, comma, space, monsters, comma, space, bosses, period. Bonus to pick up, a ton of quests to finish, an online scoreboard, improvements to unlock, a music, epic rock and roll overkill. Okay. Let's try it. The controls are left arrow and right arrow. Tap right. To oh, there's lands. Congratulations, you know how to play. That's what? Okay, I, I, I like that. That's cool. Oh, you can't really... It's not super responsive. There's a bit of delay, honestly. What what is I know. Wait, what? What was what was that? <laughs> okay, these are not real people's high scores, I should point out. One gold, two gold, three gold, four gold. <laughs> Who's that? That character. I don't. Oh, that's not. Oh, I guess that's fine. What is that? Okay, it's a shield. Can I go through rocks? Oh! Only one time I use. I did. Again, I didn't really see those. Try that one more time. I feel like with the missions and stuff, it's trying to be a little bit like um, Jetpack Joyride or, you know, other games in that genre where it gives you sort of medium term goals that you're trying to do in addition to just playing the game. Oh, this is what we're actually seeing. Collect 50 golds in one game? No. Destroy 10 obstacles? No. Reach 1,000 meters? That's okay. So we have finished zero quests. Upgrades. Start with a shield. One gold becomes two gold. Blue 
is good. Four level, I don't, level two. I mean, it's about standard, honestly. Really concerned I'm gonna get a copyright strike for this music for some reason. <laughs> I have no idea where this music came from, honestly. What does that do? What? Oh, it was good. just trying to tell me that I got two times gold for that. But you know, didn't really notice that. So the the wrench and screwdriver pickup means you get double gold. Oh, okay. Sure. I uh, I guess that's logical. Now, I would have loved to get that pickup. What's that? That's cool. Yay. Whoa, a hundred, was there a hundred gold in each of those or more? Like a hundred and fifty, what? Huh. Oh, it's random? Please blink before you disappear crazy spike thing. Okay, good. It does give you an indication of what it's going to disappear. Okay, this is double gold. Oh no, it, I was trying to do a different thing. So by completing those, I got 500 gold for each of them that I completed. Woo, high scores. This would be a great mobile game. Um, and I kind of mean that as an insult. <laughs> um, because it's about as responsive as a mobile game would be. Like, I don't really see the advantage of using arrow controls as opposed to swipe controls. Maybe that's a limitation of what engine was used to program this, that they didn't... Oh, that's interesting. Can I kill this guy? Oh, yes, I can. That's cool. I like that. But I mean, it's it's competent at what it does. That's really fast. Yeah, it's definitely a competent like infinite runner. Old school shoot 'em up. I mean, oh hey, look, it's level two. What? Okay, no way. No, now, now. <laughs> Is this why it's a... Oh, that was bad. Is this why it's a shooter up? There's like bosses? It wasn't really clear. Oh, sweet. High score. It wasn't really clear what I was meant to do against that boss. So I'm going to give it another shot. Maybe it's just not my kind of game. It's not responsive as I wish it was. Yeah, I don't... I'm not enjoying this a lot. And I'm not sure why. It's Maybe it's just because it's... 
so predictable. I wonder if I can still die while having this. No, you can't. I mean, that's good. That's good that they designed it like that. It's not like hit detection. Your whole character model is in here. I can't move forward and backwards. Wait, how did I lose my shield this time? Oh, it expired. Yeah, okay. No, that's good. I mean, the music is poorly compressed, but still passable for what it for what it does. In general, the sound assets aren't that great. But this is a different boss. Oh, gee, I wonder what he's gonna do next. Oh! <laughs> oh, crap, I hit the wrong button. God dang it, this is awful. Avoid the first 20 gold. I want to try to beat one of the bosses to see if there's... To see what happens. And is it just me, or is the gold position sort of in time with the music? Making it even more reminiscent of Guitar Hero. Yeah, tell me that's not like perfectly lined up with me. That's crazy. You really can't move side to side very. Oh! That's not good. I mean, maybe that's to be expected. Because it's only a spike thing for in front of you, but that worked before. That's kind of confusing. Okay, well, admit, like one or two more tries, because I, I mean, I think I get what's going on. I really wish I knew what the bosses were supposed to be about. But the standard gameplay is just killing me, I'm not into it. That was dumb. You know what, quick, do anything here. Oh, that was, that was smart. Oh yeah, why, why did I click the, could I have just hit enter or something? You should be able to control it completely with the keyboard. I mean, I guess the character is somewhat charming, right? He's, he's a cute little goblin with a, a scarf, I think. And he's riding a rocket because that's totally just what goblins do. Because they're crazy and zany. Then they shoot lasers, because that's a, that's a very goblin thing. It's interesting that I can get the laser position, like, between one of the lanes. That's kind of neat. I don't know if that was, if that was good or bad. I just think it's interesting. I can't... there's no boss yet. Okay, there, there's the boss. Can I shoot the boss with this laser gun? No, no, I can't. I'm definitely not gonna. Oh. Do I shoot this? Oh. You eventually get a power up, and that allows you to do damage to the boss. 
and then suddenly the field changes. And I'm going really fast now. I wonder how they accomplished speeding up the game. If it's like literally increasing the the uh, frame rate of the game so that it runs faster. You know, assuming it's that game mechanics are locked to frame rate or tied to frame rate. Can I can I hit enter and it's and have it like no enter does not work for okay. So So I think it's the game is interesting. Oh, and okay, now I understand what the levels were about. I just noticed that. So you can only get certain upgrades based on the level that you are. What language? I don't... Okay. I, I, I get what it's trying to do. It's like mobile... It's all the standard practices of being a mobile game without it actually being a mobile game. Which I think is... Personally, I think that's terrible. <laughs> I mean... There's not a lot of depth to the gameplay. The controls aren't very tight. There's there's like a limit to how quickly left and right you can move, which I imagine at higher levels that's going to be frustrating. Um, the graphics are thoroughly underwhelming. But there's there's an there's an amount of polish. Um, because there's there's upgrades, there's levels, like there's enough features, and there's boss fights, but the boss fights were like almost humorously boring, <laughs> like not particularly difficult. I mean, while the, the bosses themselves might have been sort of unique, like they were Tron, they were their custom assets, right? And they each did unique things. Um, at the same time, I, it just wasn't compelling to me. Um, also, I don't, I don't think I noticed that the bosses had any custom sounds either. Like, you'd think cannons shooting at you would make cannon sounds. I don't remember there being custom sound effects for that. There's just this, 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 this music, this fantastic music <laughs> in the background. Uh, it's it's a silly it's a silly little game. Uh, the description is. It's silly. I don't... But maybe you'll have more fun with it. I wasn't... I'm not personally a fan. That's just me, though. Uh... Wait, is, is, is there a line in the clouds? That's great. I feel like you could... You could fix that a little bit. <laughs> Alright, that's all I got. Until next time.